Indeed, the strongest fear is the fear of the unknown. Welcome back everyone. This is Scare Fiction and I am your host Subhankar. And today, we look into the terrifyingly gigantic creature from the movie Underwater and its connection to H.P. Lovecraft, whose quote you have seen in the beginning. You may be thinking now, there is a movie called Underwater and who is H.P. Lovecraft? I hear you, so let's begin. Underwater is a sci-fi horror movie released in January 2020 and it is highly likely that it may have flown under your radar. In case you missed it, I will take a couple of minutes to talk about the movie before we move on to the creature. And also, massive spoilers ahead. Underwater features a handful of cast with Kristen Stewart in the leading role. It follows a group of workers in a research and drilling facility at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, trying to escape a catastrophe. The facility is operated by Tian Industries and it has been badly hit by what seems to be an earthquake. This puts the crew's lives at stake as they try to escape but little did they know that they had bigger issues monsters from the deep the premise may sound familiar to alien and because of this it has got a bad rep for being a deep sea alien knockoff it has been panned by the critics but honestly it is a good movie and i certainly enjoyed it the movie has a stylized look to it with a good cinematography Kristen stewart gives a very good performance and so does the rest of the cast i do have a few issues with the movie but most significantly with writing. I think had the characters been well written, then it would have been popular among the crowd. It is plot driven, and so sometimes it feels as formulaic, but formulaic can also be turned to good, which this movie achieves. The movie shines at conveying a palpable claustrophobia and a sense of inevitable doom. I don't know if the movie was made as an ode to Alien and other popular works, but it most definitely serves as an adulation for Lovecraftian horror. With that, let's dive into the horrors that lurk deep within the sea. Lovecraftian horror, also known as cosmic horror, is a subgenre of horror fiction that emphasizes the cosmic horror of the unknown more than the gore or the other elements of shock. It is characterized as the fear and the awe when confronted with a phenomenon beyond our comprehension and far beyond the scope of our affairs. That's the underlying dread in the movie, and hence the Lovecraftian connection. In the universe where the movie takes place, Tian Industries is a shady organization that has been conducting deep sea research and drilling work and as a result, this has awakened or disturbed the habitat of an unknown humanoid species. This species functions pretty much the same as the xenomorphs from Alien. These are feral beings with a killer instinct. These beings, which are sometimes fondly called clingers, don't have acid blood and are not an alien species, but are in fact from our earth, I suppose, as far as this single movie is concerned. Although we don't see much of the clingers up close, but I did come across some concept art created by the VFX team of MPC. These are some real awesome stuff. The clingers respond to the call of a much bigger creature called Behemoth. But Behemoth, for all intents and purposes, is Cthulhu, as revealed by the director William Eubank. So who is Cthulhu? Cthulhu is a fictional cosmic entity created by H.P. Lovecraft and first introduced in the short story The Call of Cthulhu published in, in 1928. He is considered a great old one within the pantheon of Lovecraftian cosmic entities. To throw a little context, the pantheon in this shared fictional universe, also called the Cthulhu Mythos, consists of four categories of deities. The great old ones, the great ones, the outer gods, and the elder gods. Cthulhu is depicted as a gigantic entity worshipped by cultists, shaped like an octopus, a dragon, and a caricature of human form. He rests beneath the Pacific Ocean in the sunken city of Ralia. Although the reveal of the big bad in the movie is not revealed much, but it is safe to say that it shares some commonalities with Cthulhu. Most notably, that it commands the clingers and also has a huge colony of them in its giant tentacles. Or maybe they are spawned from it. The clingers are drawn to light and sensitive to sound. The clingers also bear striking similarity with the deep ones from the Cthulhu mythos. The Deep Ones are an ocean-dwelling race who worships Cthulhu. They are humanoid beings with fish, human, and amphibian-like traits. They are described as having grayish green, glossy, and slippery skin with white stomachs. They have scaled, ridged backs as well as webbed hands and gilled necks. Although their origins are still murky, the biologist played by Jessica Henwick provides some exposition, speculating that they might have hit a hydrothermal pocket while drilling and these beings are originated from there. Actually, in reality, these deep sea hydrothermal vents 
are the basis of a major theory for the origin of life. In evolutionary biology, scientific theories on abiogenesis, or simply the origin of life, fall broadly under three categories. Panspermia hypothesis, then there is the operin helden model, or the primordial soup hypothesis, and finally, the hydrothermal vents. More specifically, it is based on iron sulfur wall theory, which proposes that early life may have formed on the surface of iron sulfide minerals. These creatures are described as underwater moths, but they seem more like the eyeless shrimp, which is a species of shrimp originating from hydrothermal vents. They don't lack vision at all, as inferred by eyeless, but they have light sensing organs on their back, just like the clingers. Thus, these creatures, according to me, may be allegorical to the origin of life on Earth, just like the genomorphs are the perfect living organisms created by the engineers in the alien verse. So I hope you have learned more about the creatures from the movie. The associated Cthulhu mythos is huge, and I will cover each in this channel. And if you want to know more about them, make sure to subscribe to the channel. About the movie, I have mixed feelings, but for all its flaws, it does things in a new way, and so it is enjoyable to watch. I have to say that it is effective in bringing Cthulhu to the big screen and possibly paving the way for a universe. And it also shines at depicting the existential dread. Also I have attached a few links in the description to the hydrothermal vents theory of origin of life and the eyeless shrimp. These are fascinating topics and I will cover them later but for now go check out these links. So let me know if I have missed anything and remember the drill, like, subscribe and comment. With that. It's time for me to sign off. See you soon.